Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to make a stage channel on Discord. So this is kind of like a rebranding of the voice channels and it's more a thing Discord have done to try and compete with Clubhouse. If you find this video helpful to take, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So what we're going to do is just open up Discord first of all. I'll be doing this on the Discord app, but you can do this on the actual uh, web-based application if you want to. It's all down to personal preference. So you see at the moment I'm in my server and if I actually come to the create channel button, the only channel types I've got at the moment are text and voice channel. So to actually do this, you need to enable the community feature on your server and to do that you want to come to the drop down box at the top where it says your server name and then you want to come down and click on server settings and then if you look at the menu on the left hand side you'll see there's one there uh, which says enable community so just go ahead and give that a click and then you just want to click this blue get started button um, so what's going to happen it's just going to go through and you've got a couple of things you need to make sure of. So you need to make sure you've got verified email. And basically what Discord is going to do, they are automatically going to scan and delete media in this channel um, for anything obscene or explicit, unless it's set up as a NSFW channel, which stands for not safe for work. So you just need to take these two boxes to say you agree to those checks and then click next. Uh, so the rules or guidelines channel. So again, you just basically you you need to make sure you've got uh, posted server rules or guidelines for members, and you can choose one of your existing channels, or you can click on to create one for me. In which case, Discord will create a new mm. rules channel, and then again, you get one for community updates, which gets sent to you. And this is more um, info related to the actual community feature. So again, you can select an existing channel or you can get Discord to set one up for you. And then once that's done, just go ahead and click next. So the last step is to just go through and tick these boxes. So default notifications to mentions only. Um, so you just want to go through and basically tick these boxes if you want that to happen. So I'm just going to take those in this example, then click the agree and then stand box down here. You can read through the community guidelines if you want to, but this is just to just to take to say you agree to the rules, etc, etc. And then you want to click on to finish setup. So that's now set up. Uh, your server is now a community server, as it says here at the top. So you can do things like set up a welcome screen, etc, etc. But what we're going to do is just come out of here. And you'll see if we now go back to create a channel, you'll see we've actually got more options. And one of the ones there is a stage channel. So all you need to do is click on stage channel, obviously name your channel, so uh, stage example. And then I'm going to hit the next button. Um, so what you now need to do is add stage moderators, which are basically speakers who can add and remove other speakers. Um, they're also in control of when the stage event starts, uh, but they don't necessarily have to be mods of the server. So you can have moderators for the actual server and then you can have stage moderators, they're two separate things. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this person here, click on to create channel and you'll see on the left hand side that has now been created. So that's how you do it and I hope you found that helpful. If that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.